Welcome everybody to the short course on uh, dynamics and control. My name is Pedro Albertos from the Polytechnic University of uh, Valencia in Spain and the subject of uh, our talk today is about uh, the properties of control systems. In particular we have uh, seen uh, the stability and today we are going to review some other control system and performance. <coughs> well, uh, to have a look at the framework of the course, we are in uh, module 3, control system properties, and as I said before, we are going to uh, analyze some other properties of the control systems. <coughs> First of all, what is expected from uh, control? Well, we have seen that control is able to modify the dynamics of the process and in particular we want to achieve stability. But uh, not only stability, we want that uh, our system should be able to uh, follow some references, some set points, and then we uh, would like to have this property of uh, tracking. But in the system, as we have seen, there are some other inputs which are disturbances and we want to achieve uh, a disturbance rejection or at least uh, to reduce the effect of the disturbances. <coughs> but also we want to filter the noise if there is uh, noise in the measuring or noise in the system. And one interesting property is robustness because when we are designing the control, we will see later on, but then uh, we don't know uh, precisely what is the behavior of the plant and then we want that our control should be good enough if there are some changes in the plant. So that means that the control should be robust uh, against uh, changes in the plant. And there are many other uh, properties, optimality, uh, reproducibility, um, that all of them are interesting and all of them can be achieved with the control. <coughs> Let's have a look at the tracking. If uh, we have, for instance, a group of antennas and they are uh, following the trajectory of some uh, star or planet uh, on the sky, then uh, we want, uh, for instance, to change from one uh, star to another, so we change the reference, and then we want that uh, our antennas should move uh, as fast as possible without oscillations and, and reaching the final point without uh, error. Uh, also with uh, disturbance rejection, if we have a plant which is operating steadily in a position and we want to uh, and some disturbance appear, we want that the maximum error sh should be very high, the disturbing time should be short enough and the final error should be as uh, small as possible. So we want to uh, design a control in such a way that all these properties are uh, under control and according or, uh, of uh, our desires. So let's see for instance in the uh, case of the inverted uh, furuta pendulum, the inverted pendulum, we know that uh, this pendulum is uh, unstable, so first of all we want to unstabilize, but uh, also we want to reduce the effect of the uh, disturbances. Here is more or less in a steady state uh, position, and then we applied uh, an action, a disturbances, and then the system recovers. Of course, see the disturbance is very, very strong. We should, uh, we could mm, go out of the range of operation, and the system uh, will be stabilized. Also, if we cancel the control, we will see that the system, uh, being unstable, goes uh, down uh, in the steady position. <coughs> Uh, we also uh, have here the possibility to uh, avoid uh, obstacles and this is a quad rotor and we will see here that uh, <coughs> there is a, a quad rotor like this and it's flying and we are introducing some obstacles that can be mobile obstacles like uh, people in this case and the uh, quad rotor is reacting also with uh, fixed uh, obstacles like the column, uh, you will see here. And uh, in this case, we are outdoor. Uh, we are in our laboratory and as you can see, it's in the uh, external uh, side. And we want that the control we designed for this system 
should be uh, also operating in the case that you see here the quad rotor there is one of the uh, flames is uh, one of these uh, rotors is uh, broken but we want that the control should be operating uh, in the same way so we ask for the robustness of the plant well uh, tracking uh, disturbance rejection robustness but there are in some other cases some uh, uh, goals or some objectives which are uh, a bit more complicated here we have uh, two uh, mobile robots uh, lego a very small one and we want to transport this is uh, <coughs> a coordinated uh, transportation we want to transport this bar through uh, from this position to one position like here and uh, avoiding the obstacles and you will see that it's not just to uh, change the trajectory it's also to change the uh, <coughs> structure and the um, way the robots are uh, evolving you will see here that there are some uh, cameras in the front of the robots they detect that there is an obstacle they change the um, path but now they are trying to go straight ahead they detect another obstacle so they again move uh, on the right direction now once the obstacle is uh, avoided they go directly ahead and now they found uh, a wall of obstacles and it's not possible to cross so they are observing by the cameras until they realize that there is a, mm, a hole between two uh, columns and then they can cross but not large enough so not uh, enough wide so they change the structure they cross the, the hole and once this obstacle has been uh, avoided uh, then they go back to the previous <coughs> position which is the most uh, uh, appropriate for them and then follow here is another perspective just to see how they, uh, the cameras are detecting the obstacle how they are changing the position how they detect, look at the camera in the front uh, robot is looking, once it detects the hole then there is an order to change the position and uh, once the position is appropriate they go forward and then they continue as before so uh, what I mean with this video is that uh, sometimes the control is not just to reach one point or is not just to avoid some uh, uh, disturbance but is much more complicated and is uh, based on uh, some uh, mm, mission or some goal uh, that they should uh, achieve <coughs> so what have we seen today well uh, first of all we have uh, seen some other performance of the control systems in particular the stability uh, but also the tracking property the disturbance rejection and the goal oriented control there are many other uh, performances that probably we will see later on in some other presentations so what is next we have seen the concept of systems and signals the models and the properties of the control systems and now we face the probably the most difficult part which is the control system design we are going to uh, explore in which way we can design a control system to achieve some uh, control system performance <coughs> so uh, that's all for today thank you <laughs>